Hi, this is Don. This will be a very short video on uh, solving a matched pairs, a uh, dependent samples uh, hypothesis test. And we're using the same data that we did on the Excel version. I just wanted to emphasize that one reason I keep encouraging y'all to use StatCrunch is because it's very fast. And when you're taking exams, uh, speed helps sometimes. To do a match pair in StatCrunch, you need to have the raw data for your two, um, your your matched samples. In this case, again, we had the two methods of making the boomerangs, and we've got ten values for each one. And this was the same worker using two different methods. So that's how they're matched. That's why they are dependent. And all we have to do is go to Stat and T Stats. StatCrunch always uses the T distribution for match pairs, and there's some uh, good reasons for that. Um, one being that usually for uh, research, uh, you don't have a very large N, so you may have a small sample. And second, it's uh, doubtful that you're going to know the true uh, population standard deviation. So anyway, we've got paired, and we bring up this dialog box. And again, I loaded the data and relabeled the columns method one and method two. So our first sample is the method one column. Our second sample, method two column. We don't need to worry about the where and the grouping on this. I do want to save the differences. And we're doing a hypothesis test. The default is that the difference is zero and this is a two-tailed test because the alternative is that the difference the mean difference is not equal to zero so I'm just going to click on compute we get our answer here's our column with our differences and we can see in the results there um, a restatement of the null and the alternative and there's our sample differences which is the mean of these differences average of those differences 0.53 our standard error degrees of freedom is 9 which because we had 10 pairs and we get a T stat of 2.08 which you can calculate the the critical T stat and I'll show you how to do that in a second but we've got a p-value of 0.06 and if we had run this for a 95% or an alpha of 0.05 this is larger than 0.05 so we would fail to reject the null hypothesis just for fun let's go back and do the stat calculators t-stat and I want to um, calculate the critical values and we've got nine degrees of freedom and our alpha over two is 0 0.025 click on compute and we get a critical value of the lower end of 2.26 and by symmetry a minus 2.26 and symmetry the upper end would be plus 2.26 and so if we drag back down here and we can see our t-stat 2.08 let me just for the heck of that I'm going to change it to the other end so we can see our drawing a little bit better our t-stat of 2.08 is right in there and it doesn't fall within the critical area the red area there of 2.26. So anyway, this is how to do it using StatCrunch. 